Hey there, and welcome to episode 5 of More DACA 101. Can't believe we're up to 5 episodes already. Uh, it's taken a while, but we're getting there. Um, playoff hockey is going to be starting anytime soon. We got uh, Philadelphia and Chicago, game 1. Um, so I want to get this out there as uh, quick as possible. Of course, by the time it actually gets out to you, uh, the game will be over, but that's okay. Um, still means I don't have any time in between because I'll be watching hockey. So um, this episode will be all about the unboxing of the Orc, new Orc truck um, that we didn't get to last episode, but uh, as I promised, we would get to it soon. So um, that's what today's episode is all about. Um, as you can see, we've got the new More DACA um, title um, graphics uh, for the website that I've been playing. The one for the YouTube videos is going to be a little bit different, but very similar. Um, I wasn't quite finished with it, but you know what, after seeing it on the last video, and um, I'm actually thinking I'm going to stick with what we have there, so um, let me know what you think um, about the graphic. Do you think it needs something else, something new, something changed? Uh, you don't like something about it? Let me know, because um, obviously it's, it's uh, something that can be changed at any point in time, um, as long as I have time to do it. Um, but uh, without further ado, let's get on to the unboxing and take a look at what's uh, in the orc truck. I'm actually looking uh, forward to seeing uh, what we have in that box because up until this point I've only had old, old, old orc truck. So um, this should be nice. Um, until then, um, hey, this is Mordaco 101, unboxing the orc truck. Hello there again, and here we are with an unboxing for the Orc truck for Warhammer 40,000 or 40k from Games Workshop. Um, taking a look at the front cover here, uh, really nice. Um, I mean, just looking at this truck, you can tell it's a big, big, big improvement over what uh, you know Orc players have been working with uh, shorter their custom build uh, vehicles. Um, so as a kit, this is uh, much anticipated and much sought after uh, improvement for Orc players here. Um, looking at the back, we get a look at um, basically a few different, um, it's a different paint job. Get um, a nice look at it. From there, it's funny, this, this picture down here on the uh, corner or side almost looks like one of the old trucks from a close-up, so that's interesting. But uh, anyway, let's take a look and see what's inside this puppy. And um, see if the interior is as good as the exterior. Opening it up, we got instructions. One sprue, two sprues, and some decals here. Um, nothing new for the decals. I mean, take a look at them. They're pretty standard stuff. Orc glyphs, checks, dags, you know, etc., etc., etc. So, yeah, you know, just throw them in with the rest of them. You probably have a billion million of these type of things anyways. Um, looking at the first sprue... Take a look here. We have basically the wheels, lots and lots of wheels, both in the two halves. We have the chassis here, the frame, if you will, of the truck. Um, got the bed of it where you put uh, for transport, and um, guessing the plates and stuff, and axles and then the motor section um, as well as either the driver or the gunner um, with his arms and his legs on the side here I'll just flip it over quick take a look at it not much for the back of the uh, tires there but it gives you an idea here of the, uh, the bed and the bottom of the truck down here um, interestingly enough, this guy's body is hollow in the back, so uh, obviously you're not going to be able to see him. Um, and I think this is, pro this is probably the seat. Um, 
if I was to guess. All right, well, moving on to sprue number two. We get here, this is uh, seems to be mostly the upgrades that you can put on it. So um, you've got your boarding planks and stuff here. Um, these are the sides. Um, uh, the uh, battering ram type deal or, you know, bumper if you want. Um, there's another one here. Uh, they might be two different things. It's hard to tell. Um, then you got the the wrecking ball piece here. And I'm guessing these two pieces here are for the wrecking ball. Got some uh, piping for over top of the uh, crew cab. Um, and then, of course, the gun and... Yeah, this must be the gunner. The other guy was, uh, I'm guessing, the driver then. If this, this guy's more like the gunner, it's... Definitely um, the other way around. So here's a look at the back here. So it gives you a better idea of what the uh, planks here look with their big grabby claw things here. Um, you could probably use these for all sorts of different things. I think I'm probably going to try and magnetize all the um, basically war gear for the uh, vehicle because. You know what? There's no point in putting them on if they're not actually on the truck. You know, if you want to show what ex is exactly what you're using. So, again, here's the sides. Nice looking sides. Um, I'm guessing this is part of the front here. And oh, I got a nice little glyphy, orky glyph type thing here. And there, yeah, there's the wrecking ball pieces. That's very cool. It's all, you know, like bolted on pieces, patchwork and stuff, and some piping and such. That's nice. Let's take a look at the instructions now. Here is the front. Just gives you a picture. Standard uh, deal with our Games Workshop here. And then going through the instructions, it's basically, it looks like put together your wheels, put together your axles, attach your axles and your <laughs> motor to the chassis, attach the wheels to the axles and motors, uh, throw down the, put together the bed, put the bed onto the truck, uh, add in the rest of your piping and stuff like that uh, to make it look like that, and last but not least, uh, throw in the war gear, be it, you know, uh, the battering rams, the planks or the the wrecking ball and your driver and your uh, and your gunner here so uh, pretty standard instructions I like the way they've gone with the new 3d instructions compared to the old 2d instructions um, they're nicer looking and they're pretty cool um, kind of Lego like if you think about it um, in comparison to the old ones so that is the um, the instructions for that um, all in all you know what I uh, I think it's safe to say that uh, this is a winner in my books. Great little piece here. Um, you can, I mean, there's so many bits and stuff. You can make this however you want. It doesn't have to look like this. Like I said, mine's not going to have the boarding planks. It's not going to have the wrecking ball on it. Um, I think I'm, you know, the battering ram in the front's probably going to be detachable. Um, I think I'm going to keep this basic shape um, with it because um, I do want it to, you know, look like the new truck rather than the old truck so um but yeah i mean if you wanted to grab some like say the battle wagon tracks and you could throw them on here or um you know whatever just there's, there's so much you don't even have to put these pieces on here if you get some more of these uh, uh bars across and just lay them across the top you know that'd be great lots of stuff you can do with this kit and i mean as orc players you know what you can do you love cutting this stuff up and building it the way you want so a plus uh, i big thumbs up for me so far um, I haven't built it obviously yet, but uh, um, I'll really have a better idea once I do that. But just judging from what I've seen in the box, good work.